Alright guys, welcome back to the Road to Supersonic Legends series. We're on to episode number 26, and today we are K-pop. And need I say more? <laughs> I mean, this is probably the most ridiculous idea so far, and probably the most funny uh, photo, but... Hope you guys enjoyed my Photoshop skills in this one. Thanks to Drew for that su suggestion. Uh, once again, if you want to suggest a new title and uh, picture, just drop it in the comments, and the most liked ones, I'll definitely check out. Uh, see what you guys like. But today we're going into uh, Diamond 3 Division 3, and hopefully this is the episode where we jump into Champ 1 for the first time in the series. Uh, so far we've got a win streak of like 80-something games, so not too bad, not too shabby. But we'll jump into the next games and see how they go. And as always, if you guys do enjoy the daily content and you haven't subscribed yet, it helps me out a ton. We're currently on the road to 1 million subscribers, and we're getting super, super close. So without further ado, let's get into the episode. Hope you guys enjoy. <laughs> All right, we got a nice quick queue. We got Pervaris, uh, Bondi, and uh, Gimme. I don't even know, man. I, I don't, at this point, why do I even try? Buy, buy Gimme, buy game. So wait, wait in mid here, see what happens. It's a good pop. I see that Pervaris is gonna have a clear, so I'm gonna wait for this. Good, uh, boom, should be a shot. And there we go. So all I did there was just wait in midfield. It's a good pass. Um, technically not a pass. It was uh, it was the opponent, but you know what I mean. It was a good spot to uh, put it in a, a position that made it awkward for the opponents. Right here, I see that I'm cheating up. I can follow up with the boost. Wait behind. Once again, waiting for this touch, and then I go for the challenge. Doesn't really work out too well, but it's okay. Also, I realize that I don't have alpha boost on right now. Um, obviously, this is a second ac secondary account. I had to reinstall Bakus mod, so uh, I'm, I'm unfortunately don't have my, my usual setup. It's a good 50-50. Good challenge. Could have been a goal, honestly. I probably shouldn't have challenged that one. But this is diamond, so it ended up not being a goal. But people would punish that a little bit harder, higher level. Right here, I'll pop it off the wall if I can. It goes over the one player. And right here, I can put it towards goal after that first touch. So all I did over there was just chip it up. It was a good save by the opponent. I'll move by my teammate. Okay, he's being very passive. It's a good challenge, though. Nice job. So I'll go for the clear. This should roll around and see if my teammate wants to take it. Good of him to wait on the other side. Good boost steal. Good touch too. See if you can take like one more touch. That's really good. So he made it one touch to control it. Wait for them here. Um, that was a really good touch for him to bring it around. You want to make sure you play that to space over to your opponent or your teammates. Right here, I'll pop it off the wall. It kind of didn't work out. I thought the opponent would be challenging a little bit closer. This could be a good shot. That would have been probably a goal too. Hey, good challenge. Good aerial. It's towards goal. Good control. Right here I can challenge this. They're pretty slow on that. Um, and they do kind of throw the ball away a little bit. Pop around my teammate. Good try. Good aerial and he beats both of them. This should be open. Great pass. Really good play. So right there, all I had to do was just wait in middle. I saw that my, my teammate, I'm just going to call him game, I guess. Um, he made a good challenge. All I do is just wait there, posture in middle field. Wait for that opening. Not too bad. So far so good in this episode. There we go. Okay, so my teammate uh, could get that boost. It'll probably go over his head. It's not the greatest touch because it goes back to the opponents, but I can just wait. Once again, just waiting behind. Now I can arrow for this. Beat the one player out. Once again, just going to posture mid. This is, not the great, this is not a great chance since the ball went pretty far away from him. And right here, I am last man, so I could challenge this if I'm a little more confident um, in that positioning, but... I'd rather just back off because they don't have like a great shot op opportunity. They have to make a really good dribble. There we go. Good 50-50. Once again, just holding on to the ball. Making sure I flip a little bit late so that way the uh, the challenge works in our favor. Get my teammate trying to make a challenge. They end up leaving the ball really really wide. Bit awkward. Good save by Bondi though. This Bondi guy has been pretty consistent. They are partied up too, so... Okay, so I'm going to wait here instead. Yeah, I'm missing. Teammate didn't really respect my positioning there, but that's okay. I'll just wait behind. Right here, once again, waiting again. I see that the, uh, the, uh, the opponent was pretty far away. Let's see if my teammate can finish it off. Nice. So there I just, like, I know it's a little bit more complex, but basically I just do a flick on the front of my car. And if you want to look into flicks, um, there's a really good way to, like, think about flicking off the, off the top of your car is as you're picking up speed, letting the ball drop off the front of the car, you want to use that last bit of boost 
as you're picking up speed uh, underneath the ball as you get that flick out. And that's where you can get a lot of power. I think let's see if we can div it up here. And we did. We got Division 4. So it was a bit of a weird glitch. I, I hate when it does that. Um, it shows, like, the number of games. But, hey, we're, we're, doing, we're doing well so far. So like I said, this should be the episode where we get to uh, Champ 1. Looking good so far. I said, wow, but I don't... I don't know what that means. Let's see what Zell does here. It's Zell and Zellhound. They're, wait. That's why he said wow. <laughs> what the heck? I thought they were partied up. That's why I didn't think about that. That's crazy. Right here, this could be pretty bad. I landed pretty poorly. Teammate jumped up early too, but it's a good touch. These two should go get a lottery ticket, honestly. Let's see if my teammate can pass it down. Lolly S kind of kind of got bumped a little bit, but wait behind him. It's not a great touch because it goes middle for the for the clear. I'll go for the challenge now. Now Zellhound has a lot of space. Good touch on the corner. So right here, I want to make sure I kind of wait for my teammate. I got a sneeze. Oh my god, that was the biggest anticipation. It almost didn't happen. Okay. Nice, good pass. I'll pop it off the backboard first. See if the opponent wants to do something. Let's throw it towards net a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna make sure I grab that boost as well. I thought Zell might stay like go back, but he he missed the ball here, so stay 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 with it. Get a flick. Not a crazy flick. A lot of the times if you do like a front flip flick, it won't do too much. Good clear. We'll stay with this now and pop it around. Kimmy wants to come in. I think we can start picking up a little bit. We're getting close to champ here, so pick up the pace a little bit more. It's fine. Hop over one. I'm gonna stay with this, just make a few touches. It's a good challenge. My teammate could probably collect this if he wants. A little bit slow, but it works out. Okay. Get a 50-50. Good shot. Zell makes a save. Now we can go for this aerial. It's a pretty free touch. Pop off the backboard. I'm just so afraid to like make really, really accurate shots at this rank without like being called out. Um, I have no idea like what people are really capable of. It's a good pass. Let me get a shot here. It's a good block. Good of him to push up on that. Go early on this because he kind of threw the ball away with that, that catch. Make a good 50-50. Zell might land with this again, but looks like Lolias has the ball. Good. Make a soft touch off the wall here and then make a shot. So right there, I just try to make the touch off the wall. Get a bump on the opponent. Pretty tough angle here, but good pop off the wall. Really good touch too. Right behind here. I'll pop off the wall once. It's a good challenge, but... Uh, okay, my teammate's actually pretty back, far back, so never mind. It actually works out for them pretty well, but I get the demo. Now my teammate has space. I'll stay with this in front. You can have an awkward touch. I'll probably shoot this. At least close to the, the corner. It should go around. Probably could have waited for that to go off the wall and then uh, made a better clear there. But let's see what happens. You know, if this goes any longer, I might have to take over and just get a shot on target. Because <laughs> uh, so far we're still 0-0. Zero to zero. Okay, I don't like that for my teammate. It's going to be a goal for them too. Yeah, so that's not good. I could have cleared that across away from space. They say what a save. Yeah. Okay, I gotta sweat now. <laughs> he's ball chasing his ass off. <laughs> I, I think he's just playing the game, man. Alright, here we go. You know, just like that. <laughs> there we go. K pop strikes again. Do I have space for the boost? Kind of threw the ball away. Let's see if I can go for a bump here. There we go. A little air dribble. So, uh, yeah, this is why you don't get nasty with me, man. I'm just trying to play my game. I'm trying to play at diamond level. You awoke the beast. Now we'll play normal because we're up goals. So, Let's just uh, go for normal 50-50. Wait behind my teammate. He's in the corner. Get it clear. It's a good shot over my teammates. So I'll go to the corner here. It bouncing off the corner is not great because it goes back to the middle. 
Good save from my teammate, though. Good 50 50. I'm going to wait here because the opponent's trying to make a touch. It's going to be dangerous because my teammate might go. Missed the ball. There we go. So what did I say? Don't get toxic, man. They'll come back to bite you a lot of the times anyway. So, I mean, obviously here I just like put a little more capacity into the, into the play. But uh, for most situations, oh, and there we go. Not too happy with that one, but honestly, I don't even I don't even care because <laughs> you decided to say what a save off of a pretty good shot. I don't know why you'd do that. We got a champ one on my team, huh? Who? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> All right, on to the next one, man. <laughs> I love you too, man. Let's get in the next game. That was a lot of fun. Uh, you know, the second the second someone gets toxic, honestly, everything's out the window. I try to play to the level of the of the team that I'm on and also the players I'm against. Uh, to the best of my ability. I know that I obviously am going to outshine a little bit since I have 11,000 hours in the game, but uh, I do my best to play to this level and and, <laughs> and just, uh, you know, fit in as much as possible. I got Dr. Drape, uh, Spudbud, and Dietrich. Why do I recognize the name Spudbud? I have no idea why. Let's make a little dribble here. What I'll do is I'll go around him. Ends up getting a decent 50-50 as well, but we get the back corner. Great shot. Almost. I'll stay around the, the ball here. Try to get the boost. Good challenge. Good save again. A little bit of an early turn from uh, Dr. Drape. He could have just waited for that. So here's a clear. I'll wait for the corner bounce. I kind of knew how my teammate would go, so now I want to be make sure I'm, I'm careful with this. Um, the reason why I waited there off the corner is because the bounce will just come right down to me and feed to me. No reason for me to uh, let this guy go. It's a good try. That's what I was going to make a touch. It's going to be a bad 50-50. My teammate's not back yet, so wait for him to go. There we go. It's fine if he touches that. Not a big fan of my teammate taking that. He does keep possession, though, because the opponent didn't make a touch. I'll go for this because it's open. Um, and it's a pretty good pass, too. Uh, once he pops out off the wall and it bounces off the corner, a lot of these times when you roll it up the wall off that corner, it'll bounce hard off the wall enough that it's in a good enough uh, margin of space to make a goal. Um, if it's not, if it rolls like and bounces pretty tight to the wall, I probably won't jump. But in those situations, I could definitely go for it. Let's see if uh, my teammate wants this. Let's see if he makes a soft touch. He makes a shot, which is okay. Right here, I can probably go for this. If I made a better touch, I can make it follow off the wall. But once again, this is diamond. I don't think that people are trying to like go for follow-up touches too much. Okay, I'm not a big fan of my teammate uh, making that touch. As you can see, he said sorry. I was trying to make a, a dribble out. Um, he kind of did like this weird rotation where he went past the ball and then back around. Like, kind of confused me. I thought he was going to the corner behind me and then turned in. Um, but you know, it's all right. He realized that it was probably not the best touch. So right here, I'm going to go around him with that touch. Then grab this boost because my the opponent is going to be coming back to that corner. It's a good demo. Good 50-50. Teammate spawn on the other side. Didn't grab the corner boost. Instead, wanted to come back into the play. But right here, I'll touch off the wall. Pop up nice and high. I think my teammate's going. All right, so my the opponent messed it. A lot of what I'm noticing right now is like a lot of champ is just like double commits. Um, like even with my teammate and me, uh, just not respecting positioning of opponents and teammates and not trusting people. Um, in that situation, Spudbud could have looked around, like used a second to go like this with, with his camera to check behind him, uh, to see where his teammate was because he was ready there for the clear and great dunk there as well. So honestly, like the mechanics are actually seeming pretty consistent with most players here. Um, obviously like the choice of mechanics isn't top notch you know this is still like diamond champ one level but to be it to be at this level you do need to have some sort of mechanics and ability to make good challenges and position well which i mean it just that's pretty much every rank just uh you see brief and subtle improvements that you might not have con good consistency but you can you know have moments where you're like making really good touches like look this guy's following it up in middle makes a good touch i'm thinking my teammate's probably champ and we're, this might be our champ one game Make it clear towards the net. Good save. Like I said, mechanics are pretty decent. 
to the point where they're making good saves. Okay, clear towards net. See what he does here. Good aerial. Because now we're jumping into the games where, like, there could be people with a couple thousand hours. There we go. Good pass over across, too. So we're finding good space. My teammate's finding good timing on, on touches, and he's going to me. So I want to make sure I reward that at this level because he's making a pass across in a spot where he could have taken a shot, and instead he chooses uh, wisely and goes towards his teammate and trusts him. So, like I said, I want to reward that. That's really, really smart play, especially at this level. Good try on the, the backflip. Good double, but I'll go to the left here. There's lots of space for my teammate. He kind of went into net. He defaulted to net. In that situation where you see both players on the other team kind of commit um, in a spot where they're on the one side, start to position away from that side because uh, your teammates can give you the a, like a dime, basically, to make any shot, any possession you want. Pass it out here. Good pass again. So I'm going to go for that one because... Once again, he's looking for it. He's not trying to like play selfishly. Making a good pass. Really good thinking. And uh, we get the win here. So a nice quick episode. Let's see if we get uh, champ one here. Hopefully we do. Should surely, right? Oh, not quite. Okay, so let's wait until the next, next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's episode number 26, like I said. Definitely check out the uh, previous episodes if you haven't yet already. A lot of juicy content in the last few episodes. But once again, I hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you guys in the next one.